prior to starting the measurements, we would recommend to insert the sample names or if you are calibrating the calibration steps um, into the sample name fin window. can also copy the text from one to another and change it per window. That can make your life easier sometimes. Um, please note, however, that if you are performing the calibration and you want to have it documented in the sample list, um, you will get the results in here, but you have to form the calibration by hand in the Osmometer menu. When the calibration is done, you can, or also before, you can insert the names of your samples and codes if needed. Also, if you need more rows than only 10, um, in the Edit tab, you find the possibility to insert or delete, uh, delete rows. And here you can insert as many rows as you need. the run settings window you have the possibility to directly choose the sample according to the sample number so column one um, which is going to be measured next and in this row the results are going to be overwritten so in this case I'm going to measure the test sample number one so I chose sample number number four and here I press start and the measurement will start automatically. Now we want to measure test sample 2, which is sample number 5. And since the sample number 4 was measured successfully, um, sample number 5 was already inserted automatically over here. So now we can just press start and the next measurement will begin. In the case of test sample 4, 
the no freeze error has occurred. And in this case, uh, this error message will pop up, but nothing will appear here in this, in this line. And also the sample number will not jump to the next one. So if you would now continue with the measurements and just press start, there would be no documentation of the no freeze error. If you wish, to document the no freeze error, you can, for example, enter it here and then continue to measure test sample four again, for example. But then, in that case, you have to remember to change the sample number up here and start the measurement again, otherwise this line will be overwritten. If you do not wish to document the error, then you can just continue as before. So just leave everything as is, and then you just insert the new sample into the cooling cavity and just press start.